Hey everyone, it's Amir, and today I just wanted to quickly talk about the manual attack aiming option, which is an option that carried over from Dark Souls 3, but seems to be no longer working. I've heard a lot of anecdotes saying that it did work, or partially worked in previous patches, but these were likely just the result of some confusion with what the mechanic actually does. Manual attack aiming was introduced in Dark Souls 3, where it did exactly what it said it does. Allows for manual control of aiming of large weapons when locked on. This basically was a limited form of how attack aiming worked for certain weapons in Dark Souls 2, where making any directional input during your attack's tracking phase would override the direction your character aimed towards, at least for that attack. But with the option introduced into Dark Souls 3, it consistently applied to the attacks of heavier weapons and heavier weapon skills, and only when it was toggled on via the settings. They did this by putting an event in those attacks frame data called Invoke Manual Attack Aiming, which defined a period of an animation where the lock-on tracking could be temporarily overridden. This went really well as an exclusive perk to heavier weapons in combination with the longer tracking windows they got, and went far to make them less vulnerable to strafing and backstabs like they were in Dark Souls 1. Of course, you could have always just unlocked to free-aim those attacks at any point, and this is always what a lot of players, including myself, have preferred to do. However, this feature also provides unique advantages that simply swapping lock states can't offer such as having the camera focused on your opponent while aiming your attack. With this, the mechanic made free aiming far more accessible than it has ever been before, especially for controller players. In Elden Ring, the event still works and is enabled by the menu option, but nothing seems to use it. Heavy weapons also readopted the sort of standard tracking windows that light weapons have always had. High commitment and travel distance skills also don't have this event, despite the fact that I think it's safe to say they could largely benefit from it every one of these attacks, you can look at the data and see that they don't have this event anywhere in their animations. But this event does exist somewhere in the player animation data. Actually, it exists in a few places. In all but one specific case, they are present in the frame data of some copy-pasted Dark Souls 3 animations that were likely used for reference in creating attacks like the heavy attack on the prelate's Inferno Crozier. If you make some of the spiritually equivalent Elden Ring weapons use these animations, you can see that the manual attack aiming feature functions just fine among other frame data events that carried over from Dark Souls 3. With some additional editing, you can actually make the Infernal Crozier's heavy attack viable for use by non-masochists. As alluded to, there's one animation that is usable in game with no mods that actually does utilize manual attack aiming when the option is enabled. And that attack is... Yep, both before the initial expansion and the actual finger flick, this specific skill allows you to alter the direction of the attack while locked on. Maybe after this video, we'll see the next update have a text correction to the menu option so that it correctly describes what attacks it affects. But on a serious note, I'd really like to see the attacks that would benefit the most from this gain access to it in later updates. Colossal weapons and swords could also gain back their long duration tracking windows alongside this event to make them feel less static. I mean, just look how it feels to use the third light attack of a colossal sword. It doesn't feel right at all. But that discussion can be saved for another video. For now, I'd like to quickly clear up any misconceptions in terms of this mechanic's effect on jumping attacks. That is to say, it has none. Jumping while locked on will always turn towards your lock on target, but you can slightly adjust the fall motion of your jump by pushing the stick in the desired direction, just like in Sekiro. This works regardless of the manual attack aiming option, so don't get it confused. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Subscribe if you enjoyed. Check out my Patreon if you'd like to join the lovely people on screen now, and thanks for watching.